Welcome to the Yum Yum Yogi. Today we will be making quick and easy, delicious Chinese stir fry vegetables. For this recipe, let's reflect on this thought: My spiritual power enables others to rise to what they value rather than fall before what they fear. We need Chinese noodles, and I am using fresh. Frozen Chinese noodles that you get in the Oriental market, and I'm using half a pound to 50 grams. I'm using grapeseed oil. You can use peanut oil or any other regular oil. We need one tablespoon of that. We need two tablespoons of soy sauce. I am using tamari soy sauce because it is so much more beneficial for you. And I'm using one tablespoon toasted sesame oil and. Half a teaspoon of prickly ash powder. Prickly ash powder is a very important ingredient in Chinese stir fry. It gives it that distinctive Chinese flavor. You get that in the Chinese store. One tablespoon fresh grated ginger, salt to taste, and pepper flakes to taste. And also, there's another ingredient. That gives it that distinctive Chinese flavor, and that is Chinese black bean paste. I'm using the one off the shelf. If you have the patience, you can make your own black bean paste. It's actually made with soybeans, and I used got that from the Chinese store. Now take six ounces of extra extra firm tofu. I'm using tofu cutlets. You can use regular tofu, but you have to cook it before you use it in the recipe. One cup. Of carrots, julienned like that. One cup of bok choy. Use Chinese vegetables. You can use whatever vegetables you want, but Chinese. So bok choy, take the bottom white separately, and bok choy, take the top greens separately. One cup red bell pepper, and. One cup of snow peas julienned. All of the vegetables have to be julienned like that. Now take a walk. Add some regular oil and the toasted sesame oil, one tablespoon each. Heat it up. Now add half a teaspoon of the prickly ash powder. I'm eyeing it, so you want a little less. That's fine. It's a really nice flavor. Add some pepper flakes to the oil to taste, of course. Now add the ginger and saute this mixture for about 30 seconds. Now to this, we add the vegetables. First, add the carrots, the snow peas, and the red bell pepper. Saute in the oil and let cook for about two to three minutes. Not too much. Just two to three minutes. They shouldn't be done. So that's how we know is they just about get done. Now add the bag, black bean paste. It's one tablespoon black bean paste. The bok choy. Cover and let cook for another two to three minutes. Now to that mixture, add some salt. Now to this, we add the greens of the bok choy and the tofu cutlets. Like I said, if the tofu is not cooked and they're not cutlets, you have to cook it separately. But because they're cutlets, I'm not cooking for long. Now cook this mixture for three minutes. Now add about two tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm using tamari, like I mentioned. It has a nice flavor, and let it just sit, simmer. For about a minute before serving, so I'm serving with Chinese noodles. It is so divine. It is so delicious and so easy. You have to try this. And before we do anything else, my dear viewers, you have to remember this. My spiritual power enables others to rise to what they value rather than fall before what they fear.